the first C is clear expectations. And really having clear expectations means that people understand what is expected of them. They know what they need to do at work or at home uh, and they understand why that's important. We really, we can't assume that employees know this on their own. And sometimes I think that um, we feel like people must know what they're expected to do, but we have to teach them. That's the kind way. We have to teach them what's expected of them and ensure their shared understanding. So how can we check to make sure that they do understand and that we're both walking away with that same shared understanding? Um, I find that uh, with psychological safety, because it might be a new concept for people, that we also need to ensure that people understand what psychological safety looks like for our organizations or within our home. So, for example, it, it might be that it's okay to not feel well here. We're, we accept the whole person at this uh, organization. Or perhaps it's about we, we feel safe sharing our emotions here. It's okay to share your emotions. Or... When problems arise, the expectation is that you raise them to us and nobody's going to experience any consequence as a result of raising those problems. Um, perhaps it's an expectation around asking questions. If ever anything is unclear, we would expect that you ask questions so that you can get that clarification. Um, and another expectation might be around always assuming good intent. So uh, we are all humans and we have good and bad days. And so let's always assume that somebody is, is approaching us with the best of intent. What are your thoughts, Karen? I love that, Jessica. And, you know, always assume positive intent is the first of the kind leader, think kindly behavioral practices Setting clear expectations is a topic that we speak about so often in Lean. We use a variety of different words for it, standard, target. We have Hoshin Conry. And it's so interesting to me because in my own consulting practice, when I help organizations, what I find is that actually this very basic of setting clear expectations and being able to communicate those clear expectations to people is probably the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. When you ask somebody who's doing the work, exactly how many of these do you have to do today? How many customers do you have to serve? People actually aren't sure. And when I talk to leaders, I say, okay, tell me what's the main thing you're working on. And they say, we have so many competing priorities. We have 16 things that we're going to do this year. And when I hear that, I realize, okay, even the leaders aren't clear on what the expectation is. So a lot of times when we're working with organizations and even at home, we see that people are absolutely, they want to do their best. They're doing all kinds of work maybe they're doing too much of one thing. They're not sure what the expectation is, so they feel overburdened mm -hmm. because they're working on something that actually leadership doesn't need them to be working on, but leadership has not said, please stop working <laughs> on this, right? Here's the one thing. If we don't know what the expectation is, then it's impossible to feel safe because we will never be psychologically safe. We'll never be able to really know, oh, I'm doing the work that I'm supposed to be doing. And if we don't set clear expectations for people, that if they feel upset, that if they feel overburdened, that if they're having a mental health issue, they bring it to us, how will they be able to feel safe to do anything else? Mm 